Hi everyone, my name is Veronica. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing a deep clean of the kitchen. So I'll be focusing on the stove and the oven, the surface areas, the coffee machine, microwave, the fridge, and of course, that one cupboard in everybody's house that is an absolute mess. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Enjoy. If you are new to my channel, I submit weekly videos focused on enthusiastically cleaning and organizing my home. I'm a wife, mother of three kids and work full time. With all that has happened in the past, I feel that most people, including myself, struggle with the housework as our lives suddenly took on a different turn. My hope is to bring you inspirations and share some tips and tricks that I have learned along the way. I was not planning on doing the surface area, only the wall, and when I started with the wall I realized how absolutely filthy these cupboards with the tops were. So I've started cleaning, and unfortunately the first section of this was cleaned already off camera. I forgot to switch the camera on, sorry about that. But you will see the rest of it, and that is totally gross. All I used was dishwashing liquid diluted in some hot water, and I just carried on washing bit by bit. It came off a lot easier than what I thought. That is the first bucket. I am so scared of heights and so this was a very very nasty 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 thing for me to do and yeah and luckily it sped up otherwise you would have seen how absolutely slowly I climb, climb down those stairs. Um, I'm holding on for dear life over there. break from that and as usual life happens and I needed the microwave so this filth is from my daughter she makes these fantastic noodles for us at lunchtime and then she doesn't clean up because it overspills she removes whatever's in the microwave and she does not clean off to herself so um what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some vinegar put it in a bowl and put it in the microwave for about three minutes and that should soften most of the grease and then I can get into it. Yeah.
So next up is the stove, but first I'm going to clear the surface areas around it, otherwise it's really going to annoy me. So you'll see me jumping in different tasks. I'm not finishing any tasks. I'm getting some tasks done and then I'll be jumping through to another task. And it's pretty much because that's how it is in my houses. Um, interruptions happen, things happen, and in between I just have to get other things done. So I'm jumping back to the top of the counters where, or the cupboards, um, getting all the things that I had on top over there nice and clean so I can put everything back. And I also need to finish up with that one corner. One, two, three, come on! Hey. 
they say kid baby hey, hey. So it should be plain sailing from now. All the hard, hard work is done. So now I'm just doing the surface areas and we'll take it from there. So I'm continuing with the oven and just putting the racks back.
So now I'm just sorting out all our plastics. We have way too much. A lot of it comes from food packaging. So um, it is just so much more convenient to keep those. Sometimes they're just the perfect size. And sometimes when you have people coming for bry and they want to take food home with them, it's easier just to put it in plastic containers that you will never ever miss. I always have way too many lids, but I can't get rid of any because when I'm looking for lids, I never have the right size. Why is that? One, two, three, come on!
extreme clean kitchen thank you so much for watching please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to watch more thank you bye bye